Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jonathan. Welcome back to the channel. I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Waterloo and I'm heading to Toronto right now. So now that we're in this city, the first challenge is to get some coffee and the second challenge is to find a place to study. So right now I'm around the U of T area, so hopefully one of these buildings is open for me to go inside. So I actually have some pretty fond memories of St. George campus just because when I was doing my master's uh, here at U of T, my girlfriend actually lived like literally two minutes away from uh, the downtown campus. So we used to spend a lot of time on the campus in the annex. Uh, even when we were working at EY as co-op students, we spent a lot of time here. So it's definitely kind of nice to, you know, come back to campus and it's so nice outside. So this place is always really pretty. Oh my God, I totally forgot that there's actually some cherry blossom trees right next to the library and they're fully in bloom right now. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it is. They actually look really, really nice. So we tried getting to the main library. Unfortunately, they're only letting U of T students inside, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna take a look if maybe some of these other buildings on campus are open to students from other universities. Hi, can I get a small coffee, please? Sure. Found a great place to study. It's actually really quiet in here, which is crazy. I'm guessing right now it's like the transition period between the end of the previous semester and before the start of the summer semester. So it's only like one other person in here. So I feel comfortable taking my mask off, but it's also really nice and cool. It was getting kind of hot outside. But yeah, this place is uh, pretty great. So the building has a really nice like balcony terrace thing on the eighth floor that I wanted to check out, but unfortunately it's actually closed. But the view is amazing. So here it is, you can see that, you know, it's, it's pretty big for a terrace, but yeah, it's locked. But look at that view though, imagine being here at night, that would look sick. Okay, so it's 6 p.m. and I'm gonna actually start heading home now. I'm just gonna stop at the Asian grocery store to pick up some kimchi because for dinner, me and my girlfriend and we're gonna make some kimchi udon stir fry noodles, which is gonna be really, really good. TNT is definitely my favorite supermarket ever. They have like all the Asian goodies that you'd want. So I just gotta find the kimchi aisle right now. So TNT also has a lot of good prepared food items, but I'm gonna stay strong and not buy any of them today just cause we're gonna make food at home. That's the money maker. There's a mood on. All right, next we're gonna add some red pepper powder. This is what we're gonna add, I think, Okay, so here we go. Kimchi udon stir fry. It actually looks pretty good. And honestly, for like a weekday dinner, this is pretty solid. So I'm just gonna try a little bit here. Actually, let me just pop open the egg for you guys. Okay, egg's a bit overcooked. <laughs> no dripping hatch in there. Mmm. Ah, that's really good. That is really good. A lot of kimchi flavor. And I really like the seaweed. It adds a good punch of saltiness. Mmm, very good. Good morning everyone. Got up around 7.30 this morning. I'm heading back to the UFT campus just cause I really like the study spot that I found yesterday and I'm gonna try to take advantage of it today as well. So I'm near UFT and right now I'm just heading to it's important to grab some breakfast. For breakfast, we got medium dark roast coffee. Also got a breakfast sandwich. I highly recommend that you guys use the Timmy's app because they have so many deals all the time and the food on there is a lot cheaper than the retail price at the store. And I never pay retail if I don't have to. So if you're a student, 
or if you just eat a lot of fast food because you're out and about a lot, then definitely recommend it. So I went with the bacon, egg and cheese, pretty standard stuff. Uh, I should ask for ketchup, that would have been better. Their breakfast sandwiches have gone a lot better now that they use a real egg and not that like fake, fake egg stuff. So right now I'm just sitting right next to the U of T Varsity um, Stadium. It's actually a pretty nice view. You can see like the CN Tower and the financial district from here. It's pretty nice. This campus, I'm telling you, it's really pretty here. Just taking a little short walk before I have to start studying. I found it. Looking for this spot. This is an amazing spot. So right now I'm just gonna meet up with a few friends. We're just gonna grab some food at the local food truck and then eat some lunch together. Haven't seen these guys in person for a while, so I'm pretty excited. So, it's been a pretty productive day, and it's actually been pretty fun. It was really nice to see my friends for lunch, and I was actually kind of surprised that most of them decided to come down uh, to campus and have lunch together. So that was actually really, really nice. But workday's done, it's around 6 p.m. I'm packing up my stuff and I'm gonna uh, meet up with my girlfriend. We're just gonna check out the cherry blossoms that I saw yesterday right next to Robarts. And after that, we're gonna grab some dinner and just enjoy the sun. It's actually really nice outside. <laughs> So right now we are at Queen's Park. It's this really nice park in downtown Toronto. It's definitely one of my favorite parks in the city because they recently renovated the pathways and they put a lot of benches and it's just really clean. And it's really nice to have all this green space. And we're just gonna enjoy the scenery a little bit. Oh no, they took a slice. Just joking, it's my girlfriend. All right, so we got the Hot Wheel, which is pretty much a bunch of spicy peppers on cheese, just because my girlfriend's vegetarian, and this one, this is the only one that she kind of likes, so we're gonna take a bite. Here we go. Unfortunately, it's because it's been in the box for like 15 minutes, the crust won't be as, as crispy. Hmm. Oh, it's really good. But I'm sure some of the other flavors probably taste a lot better. All right, so that concludes the video. I'm just gonna watch the loose game and then chill for the rest of the night. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want more PhD content and more vlogs, then consider subscribing to the channel and hit that thumbs up because it really helps me out. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Damn, I don't even know how to feel. Hey, I can't even tell what's real. Yeah, I just want you to come chill. Hey, yeah, I thought that was a deal. Ay.